utilize the Android emulators in Windows, there's a couple things we need to do. We need to make sure that we have hardware acceleration enabled in Windows. And then we need to install the Android SDK tools or update them if they're not installed or current. And then create the Android virtual devices we'd like to use and then run those virtual devices um, within the Visual Studio to test our MAUI apps. There are a lot of different factors in terms of getting the Android emulators to work. Most importantly on the processor, whether it's Intel or AMD, and then also your version of Windows and the build, the build of that version. So what I'm gonna show you is what probably most modern computers are gonna use in terms of enabling the acceleration. And if you have problems after these instructions, I would suggest coming here to the learn.microsoft.com documents for .NET MAUI. And in the get started, you'll find a set up an Android device for debugging. It's also under here, the get started. And you can go to Android emulator. So it's kind of walks you through those, those different aspects that I just discussed. We're going to use the Hyper-V acceleration. Alternatively, you can use the Android emulator hypervisor driver. So to test to see if Hyper-V will run on your computer, I'm going to go to the terminal and simply type in system info. And we're going to scroll down through all the info here that is provided at the very bottom, we'll see Hyper-V requirements. There are four things here, and if it says yes to all of these, then your computer is ready to have Hyper-V enabled. You may get one saying that Hyper-V is already enabled, in which case you're good to go. To enable Hyper-V, I'm gonna go into the control panel, and we're gonna look up programs and features, and click on the turn Windows features on or off. And there's a couple things to check here. One is Hyper-V. I'm going to open that up and just click on Hyper-V and it'll automatically check the other items. Hyper-V platform is the most important because it's also Hyper-V management tools. I'm going to scroll down and there's also the Windows Hypervisor platform. I'm going to enable that as well. Simply click OK. It'll apply the changes and then you'll need to reboot You'll need to restart the computer. So I've rebooted. Let me go back to the command prompt or terminal window. And I'm again going to type in system info. And this time for Hyper-V requirements, it says a hypervisor has been detected. Features required for Hyper-V will not be displayed. So we have Hyper-V now enabled. I'm just going to close that window. I'm going to go into Visual Studio 2022. I'm going to go back to that MAUI app test solution that we created when we installed Visual Studio. This is basically the sample app that comes uh, out of the box when we create a new MAUI app. I'm going to double click on the main page XAML. That will give us our interface. Now up on the button bar, we can choose to debug any CPU. And then we see the, the devices we can debug on. So I can, debug, I can debug on this Windows machine. We'll come back and do that in a minute. I can also debug on the Android emulators. And I have a whole bunch of emulators here that I've installed over the last few years doing Xamarin and doing Android Studio development with Kotlin. You may not have anything here. And so I wanna show you how to set these up and think about all the different devices that are out there. We've got phones, we've got tablets, all different sizes. And so you can emulate any of those. And if you wanna have a broad distribution, you probably wanna test on several different devices. So we have the Open Android Device Manager icon and the Open Android SDK Manager icon. If for some reason you don't have those, you can go to the view menu, go to toolbars, and make sure Android is enabled. 
Okay, so I'm going to go to the Android SDK Manager first. Now on the platforms, we're seeing the different Android operating systems. So 12.0, 11.0, 10.0, 9.0. These older ones, I've been doing this for a long time, so I've got a bunch of older operating systems installed. Maui's not going to run on these older ones. So we're going to target our newer phones and newer tablets. And there's also some SDK tools. So over here you see the API, the application programming interface that those different operating systems use. So Android 12.0 version S uses API 31. Not a bad idea to keep these updated, so I might want to check the SDK platform 34 and go ahead and install some of that. I'm not going to bother to do that simply because it takes a while to install these, but I would encourage you to keep your Android SDKs up to date. Now, as far as tools, make sure that you have the SDK tools installed. There's different command lines here. As long as you have the most recent one, say 7.0, you're probably good to go. Again, you can keep those up to date. So I see there's a button down here with some updates available. I'm going to click that. So here's a bunch of updates that they're recommending. I'm going to choose install updates. I'm going to accept on several of these. And it's going to take a while to install those. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back and we'll pick up once those have been done. It's finished updating. So I'm going to close that window. And I'm going to go to the Open Android Device Manager. By the way, you can also go to Tools, Android, and get to the, those items there as well. So let's go to the Android Device Manager. I'm going to say yes. So this is where you set up your different devices. So I saw you saw earlier I had a bunch of different devices set up already. But let me show you how you would start a new one. So I'm going to click on the new and you can choose a you can type in a name i'm just going to accept this pixel 5 api 33 the base device you can choose from different devices here i'll leave it at pixel 5 processor 64 bit versus 32 bit The operating system you want to target whether you want to include a play store so you can actually load applications from the play store on the emulator i'm not going to do that you can also make modifications in terms of the width and height of the lcd in terms of the, the display i'm going to accept all this as default and i'm just going to simply say create actually let's, let's Let's change the name here a little bit here. Let's also make this Maui. So it kind of stands out that I'm gonna use this for my Maui applications. We'll create. It's gonna create that device. It gets to take a little bit of time. And the base is a duplicate of one I created previously. But now that that device is created, we can click the start button and make sure that it actually runs. And there is the emulator running. I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to close my device manager. Let's go back to Visual Studio. Now in Visual Studio, we can select to load an Android device. I'm going to find that Pixel 5 Maui. That's already open. If it wasn't open, it would open that emulator. If I want to test this Maui sample application on the Pixel 5 emulator. It's building that package. It's then going to install that to the emulator. Now I ended up getting an error here that no Android SDK instance matching the SDK path. 
Go to the project menu, come down to Maui App Test Properties. If it won't load onto an emulator, first thing I'm going to do is check to see what the target platform is. So I'm going to down to my Android Targets, and I see the target framework is empty, and my minimum is way down to Android 5. So I need to change this. I'm going to set this to Android 13. That's that level 33. That's my Maui emulator. That can be my target. And we'll set the minimum, though. I'm going to set the minimum at uh, 10. I'll go 9, level 28 Pi. So now I'm going to try this again. Go back and choose my Maui emulator. So it's a good idea to watch the output window as this is building and installing. It'll give you some clues if something goes wrong. And the first time you build an app it takes a while. It also takes a while the first time you try to install it onto an emulator. After that, when you make updates to it, it will go pretty fast. So now it's going to my emulator. I'm going to pull this over just so I can see all the output here. So it's deploying at the bottom, it's deploying to the Pixel 5 Maui emulator. Found the device. It's now installing onto the device, attempting to run it. And there is my project. I can choose click me and it tells me how many times I clicked. I'm going to leave this running here. I'm going to come back over and change my label from from hello world to hello SMCC. And you'll notice I didn't do anything as far as reloading it or, re or updating the emulator. This is called hot reload. If you're making minor changes to your interface, not adding extensive code, it will do this on the fly. So for example, my button, I can say background color equals red. And it did that also. We can end the emulator. And that is how we run our application on an Android emulator. Let me show you one other thing, because I mentioned I would do this. Let's just go to the Windows machine and let's test it on the Windows machine. So it's gonna install it on this Windows device. And since this is not running in a virtual machine, it's a little bit faster. Not too concerned about warnings that come up. We just don't want any errors. And there is our project running on the Windows device. And again, I can say click me, it tells me how many times it clicked. And I'll end that. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.